Good morning, folks. Welcome back to streams. Uh, we'll be playing some Valheim this morning. Got some iron that we managed to get home without getting our asses killed, surprisingly. <laughs> so we're going to be focusing on that. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good time of just good old forging. But uh, before we begin that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which helps pay bail to secure the liberty and the safety for LGBTQ folks that have been incarcerated. That sounds like something you'd like to support, which, I mean, it's with all the shit-ass laws people are trying to pass these days, probably not a bad thing to kind of look into. <laughs> um, I have a donation button below my stream. I have an exclamation point donate command. My chatbot will share that command every 30 minutes and there will be a QR code on the bottom of the screen that you can scan to also go to the donation page. I don't get any sort of kickback or anything from fundraising this way. It's just a way I can fundraise while still playing games and stuff. Good morning, bud. Thanks for the hydrate. We're getting ready to get started with some with Valheim. Mm. Sunday was fun. We're just sailing around and getting killed by everything it was a good time so let me go ahead and there we go and wherefore art thou oh, there you are let's load this bad boy up <clears throat> i'm ready to do it all over again yeah it was it was great i'll we'll have to play some more of it someday especially now that my mic and st my, all my setup stuff is actually set up for <laughs> connecting. <clears throat> You've been playing on your single player world? Let's see, there's a little character I was working on doing like a no Ikethir playthrough. It's chaos so far. Uh, let's see. I think it's this one. <laughs> I have like too many characters. <laughs> Uh, I think it's this one, and then the stream. Yeah. Nope, totally respect that. Mmm, good stuff, good stuff. Excuse you, I just I just came into this world. <laughs> you immediately have a Grayling just bothering me as soon as I spawn in. Why one in it? All this crap in the way. Okay, we got, we got some turned up seeds. Go ahead and harvest these immediately, and I'll plant them again once it's a little brighter out so I can see what the hell I'm doing. <clears throat> okay, grab our little, little diggy tool, diggy diggy tool. And we've got 81 turnip seeds. It's going to become 81 turnips. Gonna wait a little till it's, uh, just a little brighter. Uh, do I have a cart somewhere? Because I've got a bunch of iron down here at our little home. Actually, before I do that, we should almost certainly make sure my little... Is this portal active? It is not perfect. Uh, let's grab this stuff for a portal. Specifically put it in this box right next to this portal and we'll go set up the portal down at the uh, the dock Yeah, as far as the swamps go you usually tend to find them like like the set like center of your map and then like kind of like some ways out surrounding the center of your map is roughly where you'll find your swamps at. I think it's one further out too, but this is kind of where you start seeing them. 
It's like a proximity ring around the spawn. It's like this is the major swamp I've been to, and then there's kind of another one around here that's kind of not very good from what I can tell. This one might be fine, but I just didn't really explore much because, you know, these little bits have made me a little, <laughs> a little concerned. Um... Um, I think we're gonna start smelting some stuff and then once we can get the long bit we'll we'll probably go to bone mass to investigate the swamp there because there might be another decent there's probably another big swamp where bone mass is and then we can maybe set up a base near there or something this place is fine it's pretty central to the map I mean I could always just move my base closer to the shore We've got a pretty decent river right here. I could build something cool around or over or something like that. Yeah, we got our... I think we got all the iron out of here. Yeah, we got a decent amount of, of iron from that trip. Boat's empty. So, let's... that here and since it's unconnected I have another unconnected port at the top so yeah yeah and if you can try to find one of those like fire jet things so they'll just let you get more cores so you can get more um, just get more and more um, what you call them um, portals Okay, and we'll go back to this. Alright, it's light it's light up light enough now out so I can probably see where I'm going. Yeah, I might end up uh just setting up base like I might end up moving my base further to closer to this like river it just seems like a better spot than up here because this river is not nearly as useful and it doesn't seem like I'm trapped in like a landlocked ocean or body of, or sea or something so it's probably I could probably move right around here and be just fine but Having to go up this hill is just kind of inconvenient, but I could I could see myself being able to use this river well enough to make it worth it. But let's go ahead and get the planting started. And you can see in real time how I how I plant things. I probably I'll probably do it very poorly. Okay, let's line up with this little beam. Line up with this. Give it more room. Okay, and give it more space. Just mash the f shit out of the freaking use button. Oh, my stamina ran out. <laughs> yeah, I don't have very good stamina food yet either, because, well, I have to get the turnips so you can get the turnip soup, which is pretty okay. Excuse you, I'm trying to garden. <sighs> you fucking shitter. <sighs> I have the audacity. Come over here. Bother me. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna do the, sim uh, the same thing. Line this up. And I'll start at this end, I guess, and then we'll just. Let our stamina recover just a hair. Granted, I could eat just nothing but stamina food since we're gonna be at the base for a while. Probably end up doing that. That's 25 more seeds. All right, it's not too bad. 
stamina back up again, and then we'll... Here, get our stand back once more, and just wait. Up, and... Oh, and all 81 are planted. I don't know how long of a distance, uh, like, these boars would render in, because I could probably make my base, like, I could just move the fucking boars, it's not like it's hard. Uh, yeah, like, just kind of invest, just thinking of where I'm gonna put this bit, my base now, because I don't, like, up there is cool, but the gray dwarves are a pain in the ass. <laughs> So we're probably gonna move somewhere, move further down the hill, near the shore, and we can flatten it out and all that fun shit. For now, we got our our turnips planted. The bees are happy. <laughs> Also, time to go get some more, uh, some more coal. Okay, well, well, you're not very much fun, are you? How do you not see me? How did I not hit you? Womp womp. <laughs> okay. And I start at uh, certain cores one because it's the one at the base, and then certain cores two. I go through that one. And then Sertling Cores 3, or Sertlings 3, to the next one. Good morning, Cloudy. Thank you for the hydra. I got some coffee. Mmm. I am, I am profiting off the pain and misfortune of lesser creatures. There we go. Oh, that little hall got that little five every five minutes. So I'm probably gonna get be able to get another like forty something more coal because of those. I'm probably not gonna remember to come back in another five minutes, but that's fine. And anyway, we just head back through all the portals. Yeah, I I, I sure did. I was like, uh. Oh. Oh wait, I just realized my, my Valheim screen needs to be moved because of my settings changes. Give me a sec, I just realized that. That's a little silly. Um, uh, how about zero, six, two, five. Okay, uh, actually, it's actually perfect now. Cool, easy. You just got, you just, you just gotta have, you just gotta want to do it. You gotta see, see the change you want in the world and then just do it. <laughs> I also don't know why my thing is messing up like that. Like, I don't know what's going on. There's just a lot of weird stuff with OBS lately. Hmm. 
Hmm. I I don't know why it would be doing this. Because if I unpause the game, you see it's like kind of stops or slows down. And I pause it and it's fine. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what in the hell else? Let me look at properties for this. Um... I don't know what, really know what hook rate really is. Uh, let me make sure it's capturing that properly. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> um, I could try making another source real quick. Let me turn that one off, and we'll make a new. We'll try to make a new source real fast for. Uh, well, let me turn you back on, and I'll get the. Uh, It's very make just real time just real time just like just real time fun you know like just real time tech support <laughs> okay not that uh let's see. it's not even gonna let me pick the other thing no that's not gonna work. Just... <clears throat> okay, let me get rid of that now. Uh, we're... All right. Um, fun. <laughs> yeah, cause I have my uh, little uh, Vado tube thing set up as a, a game capture, and it's worked fine for like the longest time. But now it's just like weirdness let me turn it back on and right now it's fine but when I unpause when I cut the game going it'll probably freak out a little bit which doesn't make any damn sense <laughs> hmm Like, it's just, like, really freaking slow or something whenever I have, like, the game unpause. I don't understand. <laughs> um, let's try a... I don't know what, if changing hook rate does anything. No, it, it's not having an effect. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what the hell? So weird. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe my, maybe the bean monster is just so enthralled by playing the video game that it, it's just, <laughs> I don't know. Not gonna change any of that stuff. Uh, properties, we'll look again. Sure, transparency is turned on, otherwise, it looks funky. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna try that, but I don't know if that's gonna do anything either. No, not really. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand what the deal is. I'll have to look into it. I'll, among many other fucking things, I'll have to look into it. <sighs> Try that, maybe. Nah, no, it's, it's, it, we'll, we're just gonna have to play ball. <laughs> we're just gonna have to make deal. Not much else to really do with it. 
think we got like way too many certain cores. Yeah, we got like way too many. Actually, I don't know if I have a cart made yet because I have 20 nails and. I think when you make go to make the bronze nails, you make 50 at a time. That's arrowheads. Uh. No, you make a. I think you usually make a hundred nail bronze nails because you need eighty. But then you need like some for a cart. So yeah, I don't think I have a cart made currently because of just how many nails I have. So we can make a cart and we can haul all that uh, iron back up here. Let me put that away. And then you have this little bastard. Come here. I don't know if it's just with this game either, actually. It's not I've not really thought too hard about it. Because I don't think it's that... I don't think it does this with anything else, really. So I'm just really confused. Oh, well. Can't... Can't really win everything. When you're dealing with OBS. I got some sausages. We're gonna probably hold off on... I'll probably eat some of these just to get them gone. Did I put honey somewhere? I was putting it here. Um, we'll grab this and eat honey while we're just kind of hanging out. Get rid of this tree, it's kind of been just in the way forever. And we'll expand out this little area, this platform with some stone because we got a lot of it. Chow. We'll get rid of our little stump here. making some room so that we can have a bunch of here comes here comes the fucking the peanut gallery y'all are the worst go away they're just stumbling around like just stumbling out of the forest like hmm I wonder what's going on over here Where do you even come from? Doesn't matter, you're dead. <laughs> Let's see, what was I even doing in here? Oh, I was coming up here to get some stones, but. Okay, let me go like this, and we're gonna raise the land. All right, and we'll try to flatten out the land as much as possible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Stop half running away from me, you fucker. Come here. <laughs> they they want it they def they want it yeah, they want a back seat game, absolutely. fucking are about to like no seat game because they're dead. <laughs> no no seats, no gaming. Can I Thanks, thanks game for letting me break the thing. <sighs> uh, 
That's probably enough space, honestly. It doesn't really need. It doesn't need to be perfect. I mean, it's not gonna be. Okay. Now let's grab some of these smelters. Oh come on! Seriously, go away. What a pain. What is even down here? Oh, more rocks. Perfect. Just what I needed. Okay, so we're gonna want the, um, like this little square one's gonna be the, um, where we put coal in. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep that door open. I don't really care. So we're gonna want this coal to kind of go. Let's leave a little bit of space so we can get by. Hmm. Yeah, that's where the coal needs to go. Need more stone and more cores, but yeah, we're gonna like try to blast out as much of this uh, try to blast out as much of this ore as I as I as possible in as short of a time as possible. Are you? Y'all are an obnoxious. Stop. Just go away. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Like I'm just trying to do literally anything, and they're just like, "Hmm, how about no?" See, there's another one already. I was considering it at some point, but I think I'm just gonna definitely just do it. We're just gonna... Like, set up some frickin' little palisade walls like this. I need more wood. I should have more wood, but... Yeah, I'd rather, I was not wanting to spend wood on, you know, this. I think I got more in he, out here. Okay, I've got I've got wood. That's fine. I was just kind of annoyed. <laughs> no backseat gaming for them. Nice little backyard that they're not going to be able to just barge into. They really want to, though. See, he's like, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to your backyard. It's, 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 it's cool, right? I'm good for it, right? It's like, no, go away. Uh, punk ass gray dwarves. All right, let's finish closing this in. Just... 
I'm just fed up with dealing with them, so. I mean, I probably should have done something like this a while ago anyway, but. You know, sometimes you're just like, I don't want to deal with this right now, and then you don't, and then you just keep putting it off, and then next thing you know, you just still haven't done it yet. <laughs> really? Get your ass over here. Gonna be gonna try to back fucking backseat game on over here. Uh, well, I don't know if that's enough to finish the our little palisade wall or not. Just barely not enough, but I I have I have enough wood. I just didn't have enough in my inventory from that. That's okay. And with that, it should be a little harder for them to annoy me. And then I could put some gates here. Let me see where they would gates. All right, cool. So, I now have I should be a little, at least slightly less bothered by these bastards because they at least can't get line of sight on me. But I don't know if they care. I don't know if they really care at all. No, I don't care if you break that. Whatever. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to fuck the bed. <laughs> Y'all are rude. Trying to build more of these. <clears throat> we'll do something like this. I don't think I've ever used this many of these damn uh, smelters as as I'm about to. Come on. How was I able to plant these, place these so close, but these ones just don't want to do it? I don't, I don't understand, game. Help me understand your your weirdness. Oh, well, it doesn't help. I'm, I'm out of this thing I need. Hush, game. Don't, don't, don't come at me. It's gonna have to be good enough. It's probably just because the way they're placed. It's it's fine. All right, and then we'll place a chest here. That's gonna be where I put all the the metal after I 
all the iron after I go get it. Okay, what else can I get rid of? I know I need some. I think I need actually. I think I need exactly twenty to make this. Um, I think I needed exactly twenty to um. Make the cart, because we're going to need that. Okay, got that. I know I've got a place for these damn things somewhere. There they are. <laughs> I was like, I just don't know where I put them. But I know I put them somewhere. What are these? Iron arrow, iron head arrows. Okay, cool. An extra hammer, just in case. Although I'm probably not gonna need it. I want to hold on to this pickaxe. It's useful to have when just trying to break rocks and only rocks. But maybe I shouldn't really. No, I'll just keep my bag right now. Just shove another handful of honey in my mouth. Mmm. Okay. First things first, though. Let's, like... I need, like, a hun like 120 coal to fill up these freaking furnaces for one go. So let's get started. <laughs> Spam the, the activate button to kind of just shove more in there faster. We're about to have the great, the great British, the great, the great <laughs> Norse Bake Off, I guess you could say. Right. Okay, and then we'll need our ore. Let's further on it. Before we do that, we're gonna go pay a visit to our our little friends again. They should have, re they should most certainly have been respawned by now. Probably a few times over, actually. Yep, there they are, and there they go. <laughs> Boop. And then they give us all this tasty coal. Mmm. Well, that got us another 12 coal for that one. Let's go on to the next one. Kind of get more area around here. It's a little flatter. Okay. And then go to, go to three, and we'll grab these. There's probably a few. There's probably like one or two that I haven't even set up yet, either. That would get us even more coal. But I think three is probably enough for now. For like just like one kind of person smelting stuff. <laughs> Oh, there's another uh, 36 coal for little to no work. Pretty sure if I've got a thing, a little dot where they are, it means I probably, yeah, there's three of them there. So, yeah. That certainly won't be bad to have more than three of these, but I think three is plenty. Especially if it um, spawns some of the higher tier certling guys. They're, they die pretty much just as easily. 
but they drop more stuff, so it's just like more value. <laughs> All right, well, that's another six of these things. And another 36 coal. There's another, like, 18 ore that we can smelt, because each coal, each, it's two coal for one ore. All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and get rid of this stuff. Oh, they actually did destroy that that workbench. Well, I I see your destroyed workbench, and I raise you a workbench inside of this little walled area. See how they like that shit. Here and now they can't destroy it because it's inside. Bastards. <laughs> Little monsters. Okay, and then we probably need like. One more wood. I'm pretty sure I could probably find a lion around somewhere. Like a branch or whatever. Yeah, there's one right here. Yeah, frankly, it would make a lot more sense if I had my base down here. And maybe across that river is, looks pretty flat, too. Or at the very least, it's probably, f like, low enough where I can flatten it more. And maybe I can make, like, a really tall bridge or some of some kind to go over this river. That's future things. That's not right now. Yeah, this is a pretty, it's a pretty nice like river delta area. It's nice and wide and can maneuver boats pretty easily. So, I think we'll end up moving our base down to this kind of area. But that's not what we're doing right now. Right now, we're hauling all this stuff back up. So I can grab like another like iron ore before it starts getting overburdened and the less stuff that's in this cart the better because it'll be harder to, to carry it uphill otherwise all right let's go <laughs> okay this isn't going as bad as i thought it was going to oh uh, come on <laughs> it'd probably be better if i made like a little path or something but I don't have time for that. We got we got shit to do. Ah, up the hill we go. Using using the oldest engine known to man, Ingenu ingenuity. <laughs>
<coughs> excuse me. Okay, let's roll to get the cart off us. Then we'll drag the cart over here. I mean, technically, they probably just do things that way, but I'm gonna try to paint the ass. Can we walk between this one? Not quite. Fine, whatever. We'll just waddle. <laughs> we'll just go on a bit of a waddle. side first and then run away okay we got all those loaded up they're gonna just crank out a ton of iron for us it's like gonna be 60 at once Maybe like two rounds of that. I mean, probably like two rounds, but probably not much more than like three rounds. And then all the iron we have is gonna get be smelted up nice and good. Perfect opportunity for us to uh, do some boar breeding while we're just kind of like in the area so much. Can never have enough boars. Okay, I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna run up here. <laughs> I'm surprised I made that jump. Alright, and I'm gonna zoom in. Let's look at our piggies with, with admiration. While we're just kind of milling around the base, they should be breeding some more. We got a decent amount as it is, but you know. Just squirting out a bunch of iron. Bees look plenty happy. <clears throat> I don't know how far away I can be for all the boars to still breed down here. But I figure if while we're doing some other stuff, we can kind of investigate what's going to happen to this area, like start flattening it out and all that. Because yeah, having like a uh, having like a big bridge go over the river like that would be pretty sweet. 
And maybe I can even make one big enough to uh, go over a long ship. That would be sick, actually. Yeah, over here we could have a nice little uh, kind of like l unloading area for boats because there's just a lot of pretty ideal shoreline. We're just going to get rid of some of these rocks. We can start doing that, I guess, since they're not going to really be one way or another. We're not going to want these here anyway. looks pretty much gone at this point so I'll call that a win okay we'll get that one too uh, I guess let's start getting rid of some of these because we'll likely end up like flattening some most of this area out a bit and using it for you know, being, like, base stuff or whatever. So over there is great and all, but, like, it's it starts getting really steep. So I think it'd be better to just use a more of this area as opposed to that area for our base. So we're going to need to clear out the space for the base. The base space. <laughs> right in his little snoot. Okay, that rock is destroyed. Because just the stamina is useful for, well, breaking things. Okay, that rock is done, and I mean, this one can stay, I guess. So there's another rock up here I kind of want it to go there's just a regular boar That's a good, that's a decent start. We cleared out some of the rocks. And we'll store some, we'll store that stone here in case we need these for landscaping or whatever. <laughs> just the lizard just starts screaming at us. Okay, let's find our box that we have for 
or we're gonna need to move this stuff a little. We'll move these just somewhere else. Like how about in here? That's fine, right? Totally fine. We just okay. Let me grab you and then grab you. It takes a, it's a lot of energy to. these but that's what we gotta do all right now let's grab another 120 coal we grab more we have we grab more than that but that's fine let's load this up Having a very cold time out here. Just it's even better that I didn't have to like make any of this coal myself because fuck that. <laughs> I am not about that life anymore, I'll tell you that. If I can get away with not doing that ever again, I will. Okay, and then we'll just start. These up again. All right, it's sleepy time. A decent amount of that should smelt down while we pass the night. I don't know if all of it's going to get processed, but at least a good chunk of it will. I mean, if all of it did, that'd be amazing. Oh my god, I think all of it did. <laughs> yep, it sure did. All right, well let's put, let's load that all up in in our box. At this point, I might as well just grab all of it anyway. And I'll just waddle. I'll just waddle into the house. All right. We still have a little bit, a bit more to smelt. We have like 31, I think. Yeah, we have like 31, so we can kind of just do. That, get that little one kind of taken care of. <laughs> so now we need basically that. Okay, that one sing <laughs> that one singular one piece of iron ore is taken care of, and now we get to smelt the other bit here. All right, and that'll be all of our iron process once that's done. Should be nice. I know there's some part here for like one of these uh, upgrades for this thing that I just haven't made yet. Oh, it's storming. I want to say it's probably not the forge. Uh, the forge cooler that I haven't made yet. 
Yeah, I don't have made the forge cooler yet, and that is ten copper, so um there's some copper over there. We can probably just go get like ten copper ore. It's straw, yeah, it's that's all stormy and, and rainy now. If we go down to the water it should be like all like rolling and wild and stuff. Maybe not really in the river, but like out out of like the ocean, definitely. I think the river's probably gonna be a little calmer. Oh, hello. <laughs> Already wet anyway, who cares? It's like, who cares? Go pick up a football. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, the water is not too bad in the river, but that's because it's a river, not the ocean. But I think the ocean would be a lot more uh, hectic. But let's run up our wonderful little hill here. I need to get 10 copper. Hello, dear. <laughs> now, I do have some copper highlight on the map, but we'll just break that, honestly. I haven't worked with the little Mjolnirs because it kind of looks like a pickaxe. <laughs> well, I'm going to grab these while I'm here, though, because these are nice to have. And, yeah, we got some copper right here. So we're going to get ten. There's two, that's a good start. Let's make sure I'm not gonna get surprised by a troll. They tend to do that to ya. Surprise, like, despite their fucking size, they tend to just kinda show up. <laughs> I'm not like, let, let me introduce myself. Okay, and we got six now. You, you can you can kind of mine these similar to how you can do the silver veins in later uh, parts of the game, where you mine it underneath it, where there's like nothing touching, and then you just mine part of it and it'll explode because no, it doesn't have support. It's really funny when you can get that when it to get it to do it like that, but it's harder to do with these. Because sometimes these are just like in, spawn in places where they can't get completely away from the, uh, the walls or whatever. Well, that got us a little bit more than I was looking for, but you know what? It's probably fine. I just, I needed, I needed 10. And we can go ahead and start smelting those up back at base once we get there and... All will be well. Relatively. Need more of our snacks here. Cat like reflexes. Let's go through the, go through the trees. Probably, I was gonna say probably run past like ten gray dwarves. I haven't really seen any yet, which is weird. They're usually everywhere. Oh, 
Well, while we're at it, though, let's check on the, the turnips. Ooh, I don't want that. Let's see how the turnips are doing. They're growing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> New buttons. <laughs> Good morning, hug dispenser. That's loud as fuck. <laughs> um. Yeah, I did that because uh, last Saturday I was playing RimWorld and I was explaining the intricacies of drugs in RimWorld and. <clears throat> no, nope, no, totally. I, I should have. It, it's to be expected, you know? Makes sense to me why you would press the button. Don't gotta really explain it to me. It's like, oh. Right, so we need 10 of this specifically smelted, so we're gonna. We're gonna do so. Okay, all of our. I think all of our iron's done now, too. It, Seems like, yeah, it looks like all of our iron's done now, too. Okay, that's all the iron. Well, it should be all the iron. There might be like one around here somewhere. Button! <laughs> Alrighty, well. And we might as well smelt this other stuff too. While we're at it. We're gonna clear out this tin here. Make some bronze. Two copper and one tin make one bronze. And we have enough stuff to be made now. It should be fine. But if not, we'll just go get a little bit more copper. It didn't take long. But that'd be a little bit more bronze to do stuff with if we need it. And it clears out a space in our box. We're probably not going to be doing upgrading these boxes because we're going to be moving base before long anyway. So. We'll likely end up just making more. Um, mm, that, actually remind, that actually reminds me. I should probably start planting some of these trees to give me fine wood because new boxes are going to take fine wood and they're not very cheap. <laughs> So I, I think we're gonna start planting some birch trees around this area, area since we're still kind of using this zone to live in. Oh, oh let's get rid of this rock. Powish. Powish. Don't come any closer. I'll pickaxe you. Or I'll just axe you. <laughs> little shit. A little stinker. Is that, okay, that is a rock. Let's destroy. Yeah, because I think these uh, 
birch trees need a decent amount of space near them to be uh, viable. Alright. That one's probably be gonna be fine, and then we'll move one, like, over here. Pain yes. You just run right out of the woods and throw rocks at me. It's rude. I think they need to be like eight meters like away from each other and probably like eight meters away from like buildings and shit too, so it's like they gotta have a pretty good amount of space. We'll plant some more kind of back over here. I'm gonna plant like one there. One like up there. And I don't know if they can be close to rocks or not, so we'll just kind of. How many more do I have? Six. The boar tower is continuing to produce boars at an at a appreciable rate. Alright. I didn't really check if it how many, if any of these are actually viable, but I figured there's probably be enough space for them where I planted them. And we'll just have to see. So far it says they're healthy. But that's just kind of so we can get some more um, fine wood leading up to our base move, which will be moving down like this area. Cause it's closer to the water and there's just, it's just flatter. So it's just nicer, but yeah, we got piggies. <laughs> All right, that's our ten copper that we needed. What else do we need for this forge cooler? Five. Ugh, that's a Unfortunately, a decent amount of fun with that we don't have, of course. Looks like we might need to go um, get some. For that, though, let's check on our, our turnips. Because some of them look like they might be done. Okay, so they're not all done yet. Probably be like in the morning, next morning. So let's put you away. Let's kind of put some other stuff away, too. Doing, basically doing chores. Munch on these. If I need more of these, uh, those yellow mushrooms, I can go to the uh, crypts. Like, there's one there, and there's like two others there, because that's where they grow. And I can just grab some more to munch on. Around these parts, I don't really need a lot of HP anyway, so the more stamina, the better. And honey's just reproducible, and the mushrooms aren't really that hard to get, so. What was I gonna do though? I, was, I know we're gonna wait and oh, probably go get some fine wood from somewhere. Let's break this cart. Wait, what's in here still? Oh, that. <laughs> 
two more iron at bars or ingots or whatever. A bar. A bar. Okay, we'll break our cart so that we can just rebuild it later. Let's put this iron away with the rest of it because we, we, got, we got it all smelted down. But now we got to get some other stuff. Actually, I don't know if I even really need the cart. Go through this portal down to our... To, excuse you! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> A little goober. I don't think I've really done too much uh, birch tree cutting on this side of the river, so there's probably a decent amount of them. I've never really even explored over here, even. So yeah, there's probably a good amount of birch trees just kind of lurking among the the rest of them. <clears throat> mm. <coughs> now, if I was being half as intelligent as I should be, I would bring this portal with me. That way, when I'm done, I can just come back to the base really quick, because the fine wood, you can just go through portals with it just fine, so I don't have to worry about any weirdness with that. Let's run over to this kind of zone. Let's see if we got any birch. I, I already see at least one birch over here, so that's good. Fortunately, it's what you kind of have to do. I don't like cutting down the trees, but I need the I need the I need the resources. In my defense, I I am replanting some trees to to do some as well. Stump out of the way. <clears throat> Where are you going? Come back. Come back. <laughs> it's just got it's just rolling away. And I could like bonk them together to get them to break. Or at least one of them to break. So that one broke. All right, then we can craft one of these, and then we put together our portal. Since it's untagged, it'll go, to the, it'll go back to the one at home, and then we can just go home. <clears throat> Pretty simple, and then we pop out right here where our base is, and drop off some of this wood that I got from the other, from that tree. Sleep past the time, drink some more coffee. Smelting operations are currently 
finished. Like, pretty much, we have 22 on us. That does leave us enough to make the uh, thing that I was wanting to make at the very least. So let's go ahead and get that created. Let's get that. I'm gonna get a little, just a spot of wood real quick to get up on this shelf. Okay, should be forge level three. Let's see how. I, okay, we can make this uh, forge tool rack to get the forge level four, and the smith's able able to get the forge level five, and I think we can make the forge bellows to get the forge level six. If we have the chains, of course, we might. But let's. So, so 35 of the iron we got from that place should be used for these upgrades because that will let us uh, make uh, our, our stuff better, let us improve things more. So let's go ahead and grab out that and then we'll make some of these things. Uh, Smith's anvil, we can probably put that up here too. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> But it doesn't really need to. <clears throat> oh, we yeah yeah we have enough chains. Maybe we can make this uh, bellows guy. Oh, let's get some. We need some deer hide as well. We got some. See, that one at least kind of makes sense where it's put. I'm wondering if we break this torch, if I'll be able to put the other anvil right down here, because it'll just be aesthetically pleasing. Nope. Alright, should be still able to still build this at least because I'm gonna have to probably put that like up here <laughs> it's silly you know what, sh you know what? sure whatever <laughs> I could probably have a higher roof if I want to do all this stuff to make it a bit more easier but yeah whatever it's fine for now this house is gonna eventually not be here anymore. We'll probably tear it down after I build something else. Okay, so there's that. So the other thing I would need would be let's let's go through our little our our silly little list. We got you, we got you, we got you, we got you. We just need the uh tool rack which is fifteen. Okay. Right, and then we'll put that on the wall somewhere. We're getting it there. Look kind of close. <clears throat> kind of makes sense too. You'd like just reach up and grab like a hammer or some tongs or whatever. That makes sense to me. And I think that's as high as we can currently get our forge to. Is six? Is tier six? So two, three, four, five, six. Yep. We have a. We currently have a maxed out forge. Which will let us upgrade our upgrade most things as high as we can probably get them anyway. Let's see what metal we've got left. Okay, we've got we've got some left. We can definitely make some use out of it. Let's see what we, can we do. We can make some greaves, which 
Well, we can make greaves and like a chest plate, a scale mail or whatever. And that scale mail is um, a little better. It's like four more armor, which is not insignificant. Although I think we could probably upgrade our troll to troll leather a little bit more if we really wanted to instead. I don't know if we have enough stuff to do it though, or if we have the means to get the station for it. Let's see. Uh, we technically could, <coughs> but we need a uh, we need another station. I think we can technically get that. Hmm. And not not making a bunch of iron armor would save us a, a decent amount of time, but mm, it's easier just to make the iron armor. But let's look. Let's focus on other stuff first. Like I want, I think it's an iron buckler. Like I was look I was looking up the difference between like bucklers and stuff today before stream just so I could make a more informed decision. Cause if I'm not mistaken, the block force you see right here by the parry bonus would indicate your uh so this thing's got a um, a block force of 40 and times that by 50%, so that's 60. Iron bucklers have 2.5, which would make that um, you you basically double it and then add another 50% of the original value or something like that. I don't know math. Um, <laughs> Looking at the wiki here, though, it says it's uh, parry block armor should be at least 70. Which, if we're looking at my little shield here, is, um, yeah, it's a bit better than my little shield here. And I think this little shield is about as maxed out as it can get anyway, so. I feel like this iron buckler would be a, um, a solid upgrade one way or another. So we'll make that. So let's grab... Should have a decent amount of this bark somewhere. Here we go. Let's grab that. And we'll make a iron buckler. It's also the same weight. So that's nice. Hmm. What's next? I know a stick in a long ship needs like a, a ton of freaking nails. Like, can I make the long ship yet? No, I have to. I think I make make some nails in the first place. So let's make one craft of nails. Yep, that unlocks the the long ship for us, which is a hundred iron nails. So ten of our iron is just going immediately to nails, which is fine. The long ship is definitely worth it. Like 100%. So we're, we're no like no qualms about that one, ever. It's a shame that it takes so many uh, nails, but what what are you gonna really do about it? Let's put those chains away. We'll put this. Let's see. What else should I make out of iron, though? Let's see. We could make the scale mail, and we might end up just doing that anyway. Um, I know we need. I know we need at bare minimum a iron pickaxe for the next section of the game, because to mine silver you need an iron pickaxe. So we're uh, we're gonna be making that. I need some core wood and a bit more iron out. That's fine, though. Let's see. Okay, 
thought I had cords. Okay, I have probably just enough, honestly. All right, so let's go to our pickaxe and make an iron one. Let's compare to pickaxe. The new pickaxe is gonna be slightly better than the bronze one. Bronze one's got 170 durability. This one's got like 150. Mm. Well, it's needed for. Be it's a higher tier of like pickaxe in general, so we need it anyway. And I think I will spring for an upgrade on it, though. Just give it a bit more. It'll get a bit more durability and just be more usable. Okay. Cool. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to upgrade it much more than that until I know we don't need an iron for anything else. I mean, it's not the end of the world if I have to go back into some more crypts to do stuff, but... I would rather not if I don't have to for now, just because making progress would be nice, but eh, whatever. I'm just going to put that stuff there for now until we can figure out a better place for it. Okay, put those nails away. We got these nails. Put that wood away. Way can imagine that the uh, the hell that where the hell did that would come from. <laughs> I don't know, and I don't know if I care to know. Anyway, it's probably about time to harvest our turnips. They're looking pretty. They're looking pretty thick. Hard, hard not to look at them. You know, they're just. I mean, look at them. <laughs> They're just nice and round. And I think we're going to expand the... Um the little farming plot here just a hair so we can plant more in a in, in a row since I don't have a lot of room like this way we'll compensate for it um, that way because there's a bit more room that way Alright, well that's 81 turnips. They all grew successfully. Let's, uh... You're annoying. <laughs> Weirdo. I'm not even, like, paying attention to where I am. You're just like, huh? Who's there? <laughs> like no no spatial awareness whatsoever <laughs> it's just like I'm gonna be annoying healthy healthy I think we'll expand it um hmm my main thing is I want to make sure that it's still, like, within the bounds of this box. Like, as we, uh, let's, like, if you see this, uh, white circle. The good thing about layering, uh, having more workbenches like that is that they, they're different, um, their different circles will overlap and provide the same kind of protection. So I think if we go one more out this way, it'll be fine. That'll be like at least probably another row that way and then we can, uh, 
expand it out a little bit more as well. Alright, so let's see if we can flatten more space there. gonna close this up and then like do this and then we'll come back and I want to make sure that this uh, is still fine okay that one's still fine so this one honestly is probably still fine as well. So how many more do I think I should go? Probably like two, just Yeah, that's that that looks about right. technically probably get away with three but that'll require a, a, a little bit more terraforming which is fine that's something to do I don't know if I should be putting all this effort into this since we're gonna be moving base pretty soon anyway but you know what it's fine It's only like one more over actually, so let me just try to finish this off. Help! That'd be our little expansion completed. It's just a matter of making sure everything's nice and flat. Or at least about as flat as it can really get it, because 
it's hard to get in anything truly flat in this game. Let's put on the night light so we can see a little bit better our uh, Like right here is a little higher, I think. It's probably going to be as good as we're going to get. So let's go ahead and do I have a little fork thingy on me? No. Alright, let's grab it. Just fork it. should be pretty swell there might be a little bit more we have to do like around here but all right looks promising retain this 31 to use for food and this 50 is going to get turned back into seeds which gets 150 seeds and then once we get 150 seeds we can um actually it's probably gonna be smarter if i just plant all of them to make seeds because what you'd want to ideally do is have a bunch of seeds and then do it to where you plant like a hunt you plant the uh Where you're planting 50 turnips at a time, but also, uh, getting, um, planting 100 seeds to grow more turnips. So that you're always getting just more turnips instead of only getting seeds or only turnips. So you're just kind of getting both. Um, hmm. Eh, screw it. I'll just plant 50. Whatever. And then we'll just kind of kind of see where we're going. Can I change our angle a little bit? Because I don't want to mess these up if I don't can't if I can avoid it. So let's go. Now it's at like 14 or so I can get 18 in one row. Give or take. Let's let our stamina come back a little bit. I should be doing this in the morning, but... That's also why I wanted this uh, enclosed. Because uh, the neighbors aren't very, very friendly. <laughs> So the 50, 50 seed turnips have been planted. They'll just kind of grow while we finish doing other stuff in the game. Pain in the ass. Anyway.
More rest. Get some of them good honk shoo me me me's. out <clears throat> well, let's investigate what we can do with these turnips here we can make black soup with them which black soup is pretty good like uh, the sausages are much better and they're very cheap but black soup is also pretty good I think I had more had my eye on though would be this turnip stew because I mean it's costly for tur turnip wise but but it's like 20 more stamina than honey and actually contributes a little bit of um, Contributes a little bit of HP, more HP as well, but like ten more HP. So, well worth our well worth our effort to make the turnip stew. As far as all this business goes, we can make a bunch of sausages pretty easily. Make as, try to make as many as I can because sausages are, are a very good food for just a while going forward so get a lot of mileage out of sausages like I'd say they only probably get replaced once you probably get to the plains which is biome 5 and we're only in biome 3 right now or I guess part of the game that's like All right, we have made as many sausages as we can. Because right now our limiting factor is entrails. As delicious as that sounds. So we've got sausages. Hmm, how much money do we have? We have a little bit. But I don't think we have enough to really do much with. Because it would be cool to get a uh, fishing rod and do fish and stuff. Because that would be another way to getting decent uh, meat product to eat. Without having to like, go hunting deer or whatever. But I probably need to be hunting deer. Because deer hides are used for a lot of things. blood bags we have we have a good amount of blood bags I might just make I might make some of the black soup instead 
because it's it lasts a fair bit longer than a lot of the other little foods we can make and stuff anyway, so. If we need to, we can go to the swamp and there's like no real shortage of freaking <laughs> leeches. If you're really, if you're away from stuff that limits spawns, you, you tend to find a good amount of leeches anyway, so. We'll just make the black soup. Make like five of each. Make some make some turnip stew and then some black soup and then we might just go play in the swamp for a little bit. Five of that and then we'll make five of you. Okay. That leaves us more blood bags to do stuff with, and more meat, and more honey. Because the, the boar meat and the honey are basically infinite, and the other stuff's not really that bad to get anyway. <clears throat> Plus, being in the swamp will get us some more um, entrails, probably. does leave us with like 11 turnips for more food stuff so we might just use up what we can with that <clears throat> real quick just to kind of get them gone Gabba. Gabba. good morning 3g's thanks for stopping in Let's see. Make some more turnip stew. Get some black soup. It's going pretty good. Making some new food. <clears throat> now that we got some more turn. Oh, we're getting raided by droggers and skeletons. Perfect time to test out my new uh, buckler. I know there are more. I know more of them around here. Ooh, you're stinky. Hello. Yo, stinky. Where you, where are you going? Where are you going, stinky? I mean, you're gonna run, I'll just shoot you. And miss horribly. Oh, I hit him that time. Who's breaking what where? You broke my damn box. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Y'all are the worst. I probably need to eat some of this food before I fucking die because I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Skeletons aren't really the problem here. It's kind of annoying that they broke my box. I guess let's make it again. Did you see I'm busy, skeleton? Punk ass. Let's put all these seeds back away. And a little pitchfork as well. <laughs> Y'all are the worst. <laughs> Excuse me. Stuff goes near that. 
All right, cool. Well, that's great. I think I think I saw like maybe one Draugr, which is fine. We're gonna be seeing a lot more of them pretty soon, anyway. Now maybe I can get back to what I was gonna do before getting so rudely interrupted. <laughs> What do you? Why? Why do you think this is nece necessary? Crunch. <laughs> I guess we'll see if I have any new things broken all over all over my base from just stragglers just milling around. Hard to say. They kind of scattered everywhere. Well, this is kind of annoying. <laughs> Alright, so let's put those nails away. Those are very important for making a long ship. But we might not we not might not be making that yet this stream. Let's put some stuff away just to clear out my bag. All right, let's make some new. Let's make some new stuff. First thing we're gonna want to make is a mace. Where is it? Iron mace. We need some scraps. There we go. Iron mace, because the boss will be fighting for the swamp part of the game is weak to maces, so we want a mace. I mean, probably want a mace anyway, but. You know. Alright. Then we can switch the mace when necessary. Uh, can we upgrade the mace? 10 iron? Okay, that's not bad. Be a nice little boost to damage, probably. Let's see. Currently 14 to 30. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. We could upgrade it again, but I want to kind of look into maybe making something else. Uh, we're just shy on metal to make scale my land greaves. So let's make some scale mail. That way we can still have some little like blue little pants. <laughs> at least a little bit of an armor upgrade. Yeah, we'll make scale mail. And at this point, I might as well just upgrade it since we're not going to have enough metal left to do much with anyway. Um, let's see. Currently, we have 10 armor with that. That one's four more. <clears throat> we, we'll probably end up having to go back to another dungeon or something anyway, so... It's fine. We'll probably just end up doing that, but. We'll at the very least make this chest piece better. And then we have three iron left. We have the we have the iron nails we needed to make a long chip eventually, but let's put on this scale mail. Looking a little bit more dangerous. Slightly. <laughs> Very slightly more dangerous looking. Uh, let's. Hmm. You probably don't go there, so we can put that there. We got the most important stuff made out of the iron that we brought home. We've got we got the mace, we've got a pickaxe, we've got a buckler. <clears throat> Those are, those were like kind of the like, the priority to make out of our stuff that we brought home. Put that away. Well, let's look again at what the long ship needs. Long ship is forty fine wood. That's that's gonna be fun. We need a more deer hide too, so we probably should just go hunt some deer somewhere. <clears throat> I 
By somewhere, I mean probably like in the woods or something. Fine, I'll use the door like a regular person. <laughs> what do you have here? Bones? Yeah, bones. And there's whatever that is. Our saplings are still nice and healthy. Hopefully those will grow before long. Oh, I think that's that the one Draugr I saw is just still running around like a like a fool. What are you doing? Dying, I guess. <laughs> just booped him right in the snoot. Let me see. Got any? Got any uh, deer? I think there's a deer over there. Ooh, boop. Booped ya. Okay, there's, there's another deer. I'm probably gonna need more than that. I think maybe 10, we don't quite have that, so. Unfortunately, there's gonna be some uh, deer that have to be um, shot. <laughs> That's a boar. We don't really need to bother with the boar. Trying to, trying to listen for the deer. I hear one. Probably over here. Probably over there somewhere. Probably in like the most inconvenient place for a deer to be. It's probably like down the hill, like upwind <laughs> or something like that let's, be able, let's sneak around a little bit yep right there bunch of deer pieces Oh, there's an oak tree here. I didn't know there was an oak tree here. Okay, there's probably another deer over yonder. Let's... Might be this way. Probably like over that away somewhere. Probably. I could be wrong, because I mean. Stinky lizard. I wasn't even gonna bother you, lizard, but whatever. They're just like needlessly aggressive. Speaking of needlessly aggressive. dangerous or anything. I just don't really need to bother them. So I'm looking for deer, not boars. I got plenty of boars. Woo! Woo! I seen ya. I seen ya, little deer.
pretty good spawning luck with these deer, honestly. Just a matter of seeing them before they see me. Honestly, more about... Uh, I didn't... Oh, there you are. Quick to run away. We can kind of scare them in the river and then they'll be pretty easy to get at. Or we can just take the shot! Oh! I'm sorry, dear. But I couldn't let you get away. That's probably enough. Let's... We'll, we'll, fine. Since you're not going to leave me alone. The boar would not have left me alone, so I kind of had to take care of him. Alright. Let's head back to base and we'll see if that's enough deer hide. If it is, I can stop terrorizing the local deer population. This game doesn't have like a very high polygon count. Like it's not like super like like super detailed, but it's just got it's just very aesthetically like soothing to the eyeballs like everything looks like what it's supposed to look like and it's just just looks good as it is oh we can use that one uh that one born we one born we we got and that one entrail we got to make some more sn snossages mm, snossages All right, let's put away everything else. Ten, ten deer meat. So if we need deer meat for something, we got deer meat now. Uh, okay, we, we we killed a few more than we needed, but that's fine. We'll probably use that somewhere else, I would imagine. Okay, you go there. You go. We, we've got like way too much of this stuff. And those go there. That goes there, this goes there as well. Alright, well, that's technically all of our stuff sorted and put away, but we probably should make some more of these, some more fire arrows before we get, go out and about anywhere. Hmm. Let's look at this real quick, because I think I can make like some root legs or something. And maybe those would be worth our time. Let's see, root leggings. Mm, actually, no, not really. If we had the rest of the root set, maybe, but... Eh, whatever. three areas with us it's fine I'll probably end up using them on something like you know sometimes you just gotta shoot something all right sleepy time get those good honk shoe me me me's So we used up basically all of the iron that we got from last <laughs> at home at the end of last stream. This stream, we just used all of it up. We did get some good upgrades, though. Like, this pickaxe is necessary for the next stage of the game. This mace might as well be as well, because the boss that we'll be fighting, probably maybe next stream, is vulnerable to crush damage. And this buckler was a nice upgrade in being able to parry things a bit more easily.
I'll probably try to use the mace as we're just like out and about fighting stuff just to get some more skill in it because we don't have any mace skill quite yet. Let's destroy that and that. And then we'll go find some more birch trees to tease. You know, I'm not trying to kill any deer right now, but you're just like running right into me and then like turning around and running into me again. Deer's like, oh, you're not hunting deer anymore. Oh, let me introduce myself. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> it's a diff is that a different one? I don't even know. Yeah, we're gonna need like 40 fine wood for making this long ship. So we might as well get started on that, cause yeah, it's a little it, like we have 27 in our bag right now, but we need 20 of that for that portal that we broke. So we essentially have seven. So we're gonna need a fair few more of these birch trees. They usually give like around seven to ten fine wood a tree. Can you not? I'm gonna smack you. Bonk, bonk. Wow. Well, that's a rock. Usually don't want to be hitting those with your axe. It's probably a bad idea. Oh no, I'm killing the forest. The trees can and do cause chain reactions and just fall everywhere. Bastard, come here. Oh, <laughs> just swatted you down in one, one swing. Nice, good talk. Okay, well, we've got 16 now. That's, we need uh, 24 more. So we're just gonna wander the woods over here. I'm gonna be building a new base over here at some point in the near future but probably not now probably not this stream I want to try to get the long ship made and if we have time after that then perhaps we could start working on like more terraforming of the area Ooh, we got a nice little like dilapidated village over here it's got a nice little little river it's that's kind of cute can imagine this would have been a, a, a lovely place to live once upon a time. It's like a little island surrounded by a river, I think. I mean, it looks like that. It's even got like a little signpost. It's cute. I love that. Yeah, it's totally just like a, a very small, a very, eh, mostly an island. No, no, it's kind of like a little island all itself. It's kinda, that's kind of cute. Where are you going? Nowhere, I swear. Oh, actually, you kind of went down there. <laughs> a cute little area, but overall not tremendously interesting. It's cool, but... I'm not super, I don't really need anything that's here. There's not much here anyway, so. And I guess if I need more wood, I can come tear this little village down, but I don't probably don't need it at that point. Oh, here's another birch. 
That's what I was try supposed to be doing. Good thing about getting all this fine wood is that I'll get normal wood as well as the fine wood from these birch trees, so. Get out of the river, you pain in the ass. So now we've got 31 so far. So like probably two like two more birch trees and we'll have all the fine wood we need to make the long ship. The long ship is kick ass. So we'll just roam around and if we're if we're very lucky with the 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 wood drop from one of the birch trees will be just one more, but I'm expecting it to be two birch trees we need. Definitely willing to be wrong though. Oh, looks like I'm wrong. Nice. I, I'll take it. I'll accept being wrong for once. Ooh, we got some mushrooms here. We get to mark these on the map, and I also like to kind of flatten the area where they spawn at so that it's easier to see them because they're kind of low to the ground. <clears throat> and then I like to go a little dot, kind of roughly where my character's standing, and I do MSH for mushroom. And let's just grab them. There's four shrooms. They are used in various food recipes. The next recipe that we'll be able to use them in would be uh, wolf skewers. Which I believe is like wolf meat, onions, and mushrooms. Okay, so. We're gonna place that portal back down over here. Might as well grab the feathers while they're, while they're just sitting there staring at nothing. Okay, and we'll just kind of move. That there, and I'll let us get back up to the base pretty quick to drop off our stuff. And we can see what else we need for this long ship. One thing I know that we won't need is this normal wood. Okay, so we got 40 of that wood. Dang, that one bird gave us four feathers. That's impressive. It's a big bird. <laughs> All right, let's look at the long ship again. We got the deer heads, we got the nails. I think we actually have everything now. I think the fine wood was like kind of the last thing we needed. So 40 ancient bark, we have that because the dungeons in the swamp give you a pretty good amount of ancient bark if you retain it. Okay. Grab the hundred nails. Put those mushrooms away. Let's see what else it needs. And then the deer hides, of course. Okay. 
All right, let's head back down. <coughs> Excuse me. To the shore. To the power of like weird Viking magic, <laughs> and let's go ahead and. I think I have enough iron left over to actually be able to use a stone cutter, which is really convenient because I have just kind of like three iron left. There's not much you can really do with that other than like make maybe a, you can make one of these fine, these reinforced chests, or you can use the stone cutter to make things out of stone, which is much better. <coughs> Don't mind me just slipping into the, the, the water off of the, the dock. We're going to move this little boat out of the way. We'll probably end up breaking it down at some point because I don't really need this boat anymore. Yeah. We'll just back up the boat and get it out of the way. That works. All right, so now, yeah, this thing is big. I might have to try to break that uh, rock, actually. It's kind of awkward to break, like, let's do stuff underwater like this. That's eh, probably fine now. I mean, it's not perfect because I mean, it's the rock is still there. But can you leave me alone for like five seconds? <laughs> just, just smack him. Just pop. Yeah, I mostly want to get this uh, long ship put down. Okay, yeah, there's plenty. So I can see how tall it is. So we can plan a future build to where the long, sh long ship will be able to sail underneath it. Like, think massive, like, super massive freaking, like, bridge. Like, a, like an overpass kind of deal. But for long ship. <laughs> so I don't know how how or where this river goes this way so maybe I don't really need that but the more river I can play around with the better honestly we can always flatten the, the ground around here to kind of make the river bigger this way but I feel like the best thing to start doing now as far as uh, base prep for over here go would be to uh, start flattening out lots of land. We can replant the grass later. bonus is now gone so we'll get stamina back a little slower kind of annoying and it's faster for us to go through this to get back to the base to get it back than to just run there <clears throat> them's the brakes you do what you can do matter of fact we can do one better we can uh we can snack on some more food here and then we can go to sleep get a rested bonus and uh get a good amount of crop growth time just done automatically too Oh, 
Well, not a bad, not a bad deal today. We got more crops grown. We got the long ship made, which is gonna be super nice to sail around in that instead of the carve, which is a little guy right here. Come on, really? Actually, I want to get some wood because I want to kind of measure how high this long ship actually is so I can plan accordingly with uh, I'm also grabbing this because we can make it a stone cutter and take it down there four stone ten wood we're just gonna grab be grabbing a bunch of wood anyway so it's fine and grab this and take it with us and then we need like one stone which we'll probably find down there anyway or on the way because stones all over the place most of the time and you can always just get a little bit more from smashing out the ground oh, looks like some of our trees are I think they're done growing if they're like this a pretty pretty juicy birch tree yeah there's a stone right here we just grab that and there we go yeah we had to wait we, we had to manually come down here this time because um, the metal metal ore and metal bars cannot be well, not if you have those in your inventory, it won't let you go through these portals. Tedious, but it's part of the game design for a reason, I would imagine. Right. Get rid of this rock. I'm trying to figure out how deep the water needs to really be for this. Uh... long ship because then I can make sure that all the area around here is that this uh, same depth or whatever I have like a nice kind of uniform like riverbed I guess you could say oh, hit my heads and my heads inside the, the, the dock Get your head in the game. <laughs> yeah, the the tide can kind of make things more annoying too. But honestly, the main reason I want this all flat is so that I can um, build like a nice big stone bridge or something like that. At least the supports would be made of stone. back and either get some stone or I think I have some stone in here too. Okay, I've got some stone here. For now, I'm going to put the that away because I don't need it. And we're going to try to raise some land. It's going to be a bit of a project, but What else are you going to do with your life? I mean, you don't have to do stuff like this. Absolutely, but...
And sometimes it's, it's fun having a little a, a silly little project. And the fucking tides are fucking with me. I think that's deep enough to where the longship should be able to sail on it uh, unbothered. Working on a brute, we're working in the river. God, this log is just gonna be just forever like <laughs> in the ground now. It might be time to start destroying parts of this little bridge so that I can more easily get at the spots I need to um, build more of <laughs> build more of the ground. Cause yeah, this bridge is gonna get replaced with a like stone supported like just big ass like stone and wood bridge like. Like, honestly, I probably don't even really need too many more, uh, support, so too much more dirt, because I could probably put supports, like, here, and, like, here, and it'd be fine, but... Hmm. Let's start by making our stone cutter and cutting table, put it there, and then we can put away the wood, we don't really need that right now. As far as building goes, we can try to figure out where best it would be to put stuff like I want to be able to drive my longship pretty easily through this. Hmm. I mean, that would work. And then we just kind of build stuff based off of that. Just gonna figure out the best way to measure this now would probably be core wood admittedly let's kind of destroy these real quick the wood floats at least yeah it 
it connects like that. Which is fine. an idea how to kind of get this formatted so it goes where I want it to go. Hmm. It's kind of hard to do stuff in like half block increments in this game without like specific, like you can place things manually like this, but it's just kind of hard see things in half block measures like we could probably do like that and that might be about as close as we're gonna really get like, well, let's put that there and then we can uh that maybe that might be That's probably about as close as I'm gonna get to ever having a half block thing on anything. Alright, let's destroy that stuff. <clears throat> Again though, I want to have um I wanna have the um I'm gonna need to get some core wood so I can. Because core wood, you can have these longer poles that are more stable than normal wood, so I'm gonna need some of that to kind of go forward and successfully make this bridge a reality. So let's. We're gonna have to go into the black forest. And for that, we're gonna go back through here. I have a little bit of core wood, but it's probably not gonna be nearly enough for my for my needs, so we'll simply just go into the black forest and get some more. I think this is fur, yeah. We need the spindly long pine trees like some of those over there. I think there's some down here too, but I'd rather I'd rather destroy ones that are not like at my base. Can't remember if I have a portal going to the Elder or not. No, but the trader is in the Black Forest, so we can just go to his little home and destroy the trees in he at there. Another scrap of flesh from the Valkyries. Don't bully me. Yeah, we can come to these uh, thin pines like this and get some core wood. Think you did? You really think you did something, huh? Oh, hello. <laughs> I guess now's a good t good time to test out our new buckler. If I can properly parry the, uh, the troll, that is. What are you? I mean, thanks, I guess.
Yeah, parry, parrying big stuff like that takes a lot of stam. I'm gonna need to recover my stamina a little bit. Ow. Rude. Admittedly, this troll is kind of the bigger threat than the Grey Dwarf Brute. Kind of getting some stamina back for the fight. Okay, he's finally dead. <laughs> Jesus. Admittedly, I was using a weapon that doesn't have a damage boost to him. And also, it was just kind of... Yeah, I was using a weapon that doesn't have a damage boost, so... Because I need to get its strength up a little bit. Okay, I don't really care about the uh, puke berries. <clears throat> oh, hello. Big boy. Got him. They're just dropping their heads everywhere. Um, nah, I don't really need it anyway. Well, I got a bit more core wood, but I was mostly just distracted by all the enemies and also the <laughs> all the enemies plus uh, just the the troll mostly. That was I had to kind of give it my attention. That might be enough gold now to actually buy the fishing rod. But I'm not really sure. Oh, it looks like those are done. Wonder how long they've been done for. No idea. It's been kind of. Haven't really given them much mind. Yep, 150 turnip seeds just like that. It's pretty nice. Let's put our little headlamp and we'll plant 
all of these. It'd probably be smart at some point for me to just like do um like the numbers aren't exactly even but like to where I have enough space to where I can grow 150 turnips and then plant 50 seed turnips and then that would replenish itself it basically endlessly oh not quite yeah I wouldn't quite do it but basically plant a hundred uh Mm. My brain's trying to think a little too hard. <laughs> it's try it's trying so hard to form a coherent thought, and that's just this is not my brand, you know. I gotta I gotta stay I gotta stay true <laughs> to myself. Let's see how is this gonna go. Alright, that's probably about as good as I'm gonna really get. So we'll start planting these. I can almost fit like 19 in this row. Probably can. And then I'll give it a bit of a bit more space and just keep spamming the button. A little annoying that um, that we gotta wait for our stamina to kind of come back because it's cold and we're wet and it's just the worst possible time to be planning shit because of that. But I will not be deterred. I need to plant these again. Apparently that's not cultivated soil, so let's uh, don't know how that one happened, but all right. <laughs> okay. Space, wait for our stamina to come back, and we'll plant another row. It's exhilarating. Are you kidding me right now? You son of a bitch, go away. I don't know if their poison blast can like destroy your crops, but I really wouldn't be surprised if it can. So consider there's just not one there now, and I don't know if that's because of it, or maybe I just didn't plant it because I'm a fool. Oh, good to see Twitch having a having a normal one, or maybe it's OBS. I mean, OBS has been doing weird shit lately, so I mean, I really wouldn't be surprised if it is just, was just OBS having some difficulties. I got a feeling my angle wasn't exactly uh, correct there. <laughs> but I'm almost got these planted anyway, so it's probably fine. This is why you have as much extra space as possible. I wish this game had like a like a built-in like kind of like planting kind of grid so you don't like know where you so like you know where you can and can't plant. There's mods, but that's mods. I wish the base game just you know had that. 
instead of having to do stuff like this, which is, you know, fine. It's much faster planting it this way as opposed to just manually planting every single goddamn seed. But, like, if you don't have this, if you don't set yourself up right with this, like, you're just going to plant a lot of stuff that's not going to grow and it's going to all die and then you waste a bunch of time and it's just... I wish it... There's definitely got... There's got to be a better way that they could have decided to do this. That still is, like, kind of true to, like, just, I don't know, playing a survival game. Or something. Alright, sleepy time. Junction. I'm wet. That's beside the point. Well, that, so far that gets us uh, 22 coral wood. Probably not going to be enough, so we're going to just head back through that portal again and try to get some more. It was the traitor. Let's see. Fishing, uh, fishing odds a little more than that than I have money-wise. Throw me the right mess of things. This could turn one, one, one arrow into like four feathers. Oh, what the hell? How'd the deer die? Do I want to really even know? I don't know if I do. I'd rather have the deer hide than the bone fragment, honestly. Y'all are so annoying. Go away. I mean, admittedly, there is a spawner for them, like, right over yonder. I should, I should be using my mace. Yeah, there is literally a Grey Dwarf spawner, like, over there, so it makes sense why there's, like, so many of them in the area. That doesn't mean I have to like it. I have to go back and dump off my inventory already again, because I just get too much stuff. I probably also didn't empty off anything much either, which is, that's my bad. The cool, th the nice thing about there being that spawner there is I could use that to train up my weapon skills and also to just uh, get like basically as much wood and stone as I could ever freaking want because they always drop one wood once when they die and the ones with more stars also drop more of that stuff too. Like got like one star means they drop a double. Of the normal amount and two stars I mean they drop four times so you can very quickly just get a ton of just stuff out of that of course you're gonna get like way too much resin than you know what to do with I already have way too much resin than I know what to do with like before any of that Yeah, we'll, we'll spend the last like a little bit of the stream just getting more core wood so we can work on the uh, bridge next stream. We'll work on the bridge, and after the bridge is a satisfy satisfactory thing, we'll probably head to Bone Mass and fight them. Bone Mass is pretty easy, even for one person. Bone Mass is pretty easy because 
It, it's basically this big poisonous goo. You can like parry its melee swings. It like spits poison, which is usually a good opportunity to just start smacking on it. And it like spawns enemies, but they're like skeletons and ooze slimes or whatever, so they're not like a challenge in the slightest. Yeah, we'll just go back here and we'll grab some more, cut up some more trees. Cause that that troll made a surprisingly amount of a uh, surprising amount of just like me of a mess. Poison, you're not that scary. <laughs> Red dwarfs also drop well their eyes, so pretty good when you get those, because you need those to make portals, and there's also a food in the mountains that uses gray dwarf eyes. Here's another one. All right. Well, I've got like 65 of uh, core wood now. Halstein. We're all lost here. The gods turned their eyes from Baheim a long time ago. Makes sense, yeah. Alright, yeah, we're gonna put away that, and we're gonna grab out all that, and that give us that give us a a, a nice healthy amount of uh, coral wood to use down at the bridge area. I mean. Uh, Today's lunch for me and me and my roommate made uh, lunch yesterday. We made like some beef stew in the crock pot, and it's basically like I just got to heat it up in the microwave, so I have a little bit more time I can stream today. Like not too much more, but enough where maybe I can kind of get the the foundation set for this bridge for next week, so that I have at least some idea of what I was doing. Because otherwise I'll be like, what the hell was I doing, and then see like nothing built there and I'm like oh I don't know maybe I was just like trying to catch fish or something because who knows I could see myself doing that oh, come on are you serious go away now you're going away forever piggy if I wouldn't have killed him they would have just Chased me forever for no real good reason. I kind of want the middle of the bridge to go over the, uh, like, like this. I 
it's probably about as close as I'm gonna get that, so we're gonna, we'll, we'll, we'll settle for that. I shouldn't have done that, but let's see. How does that? No, uh, a little. This fucking water. How does that look? That's probably that's pretty close actually how I would want it. Just so we don't get overburdened. Let's kind of take a step down. Let's see if it let me. I'd want to say it's probably the same snap point. Almost certainly. For now, we're going to put that there so I can um, make sure that this wood. Um, thing is retained because that's exactly where I want the wood to go. And I don't want to have to redo that again because it's a kind of a custom placement deal. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, so if I... God damn, the water... That's also why I want to build the bridge up off the water because... Son of a bitch. Get out of the damn water. Okay, well, we'll play, we'll do that. The floor, the floor place, placement is correct. These, this little pillar here is not, but that's not going to stay, so I don't really care. It's not perfect, but these pillars aren't perfect either, so you just kind of have to... I'd say probably two more of these and our, um, the long ship will probably be able to clear it. Yeah, I want to do this, because then I can measure out. That would be eight meters that way. Oh, slipping a little bit. <laughs> we can get away with doing 12 there. Pro probably even more if we're... If we support things properly. I hate this fucking water. I can do that. But the thing is the right height for all this stuff. I don't know if there's a right, like, placement, though. It's kind of hard to really tell. Yeah, it looks about right. So. We've got... Should be... Eight there. We're going to put another eight here, and we'll place another, uh... There. All right. Let's get out of this damn water. 
That's where I want these. That's. Don't kick it, <laughs> you fool. Alright. Yeah, building stuff in this game can be just like a feat all its own. Let's kind of get up here a little bit. Honestly, more interested in seeing if that um, oh, fell off and into the water. Of course, it did. It fell off the water immediately, and then I um, wasn't able to wasn't able to freaking uh, build anything because I'm God. This is tedious. Get out of the fucking water, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I love this game, but like. Dealing with water is frustrating. And as a sailing sort of, with a sailing sort of game, you kind of do that a lot. Anyway, we're, we can start building up this deal. I think it's going to be five of these high for it to be, um, high enough, maybe six even. Let's see how many high that is. One, two, three. Yeah, and it's going to need to be six high to, to be able to probably clear a long ship freaking deal yeah if it, it feels like if it's not that if it's not that high it's not gonna be high enough that's probably um, we could probably go one more up, and that's about it. So, it's probably good that that's the height that we're looking to do. Although, it probably would be smarter to go as high as possible with this. Of course, if we did stuff like, uh, if we did stuff like these wood iron poles, we could probably more easily go higher, but... Mm. That takes iron. We don't have any more iron really to mess with right now, so we're gonna have to just make do with stone that we have tons of. All right, cause come on, get go on. Thank you. It's cause if we do that, it should still be technically able to support something. Technically, like if we do like that. Problem being, when it's this high up, um, like it doesn't give you the full like supported. Like this is well, that's not supported either in that case. Um, yeah, this one has got the. Uh, basically, it's acting as if it is um, touching the ground with this level support. But when you get up higher, it just doesn't give the same level of support anymore, which might not be enough to make the bridge work how I want it to. There's another solution to that. And it'd be just like make like a freaking like earthen pillar where, we, where we're gonna want these um, pillars to actually be because then we can make an earth the ground it could be higher 
instead. Let's see, because we do one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Once you go higher than a five up, it stops being able to support, to provide ground level stability with this wood. So we'd probably want to figure out where exactly we want these to go, which honestly right here seems fine. And then just kind of build a pillar up that way, but honestly, I kind of want to make it wider by another like four, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that with the wood to properly support everything because support is important because you don't want your shit just falling apart while you're I, mean, I don't think walking on it would do anything, but when you're building it, you have to have enough support for everything to stay up, but I'm not so sure that's not happening there. But I feel like I've kind of pushed my luck with the, the amount little, with how long I've been streaming extra today, because I still got to do like stuff like get ready for work after, you know, eating lunch, so. And I think I have to make a phone call, too. Yeah, so. Well, let's head back through our portal here eat some food we'll rest and then call that a stream oh yeah let's uh... grab this honey too because otherwise I'll forget about it Duck. Put that away. Once again, I have like way too much. Having some of these torches around to kind of provide light and also just have an excuse to use up some of the, uh, <laughs> of the, the resin is nice. Because otherwise, I don't really, you don't really use resin for an awful lot otherwise, and you just get way too much of it and it just gets everywhere and it's annoying and just you know not fun let's offload that all right we're gonna eat the food and then we're gonna sleep and then we'll pick up next stream with that we'll probably work a lot on that bridge next stream and then after that, I feel like it'd be justified to sail the long ship down towards where Bone Mass is and probably just f send the fight because Bone Mass isn't really that difficult. Especially if you have some iron armor, like the Root Helm is good because it reduces the poison damage. And then if you also drink a poison resist potion on top of it, I think it just... I think the poison resistance potion's resistance overrides the helms, but I think having both makes the, the time that poison lasts much less. So, let's head outside to kind of catch some of that, some of the morning rays. And then we got, look at all those turnips. <laughs> All right. Yep, we usually kind of in the stream here like this, so I'll continue to do so. Come on, come on. Thank you, thank you, Valheim. All right, so that is going to be the stream for today. Thank you, everyone who came who came by and hung out with me. Appreciate you, appreciate you, and appreciate the company. Saturday, we're going to be doing more uh, Saga 2, that remake. In the morning, we'll play more RimWorld in the afternoon, and I think I'll do another art stream this weekend as well, because it was a good time when I knew what I was supposed to be drawing or wanting to draw. It was fun just drawing stuff with my mouse, <laughs> mostly. And yeah, I think doing that again would be fun. We can draw some more little guys and the like. But, yeah, 
I'm going to end this stream pretty soon. Let's see if I can raid into someone, see who's on. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, don't really see anyone I really want to raid into, so we're going to... I'm just going to end the stream, and I'll see you the next time I see you. If that's Saturday, then awesome. I'll see you Saturday. But if not, then I'll see you the next time I see you. Y'all have a wonderful day.